What's going on, YouTube family? It's a beautiful day in Atlanta, otherwise known as the A. <laughs> and you're locked in the B2 Speaks. I am Walter. Happy Memorial Day to you. Hope you're being safe out there. Thank you to all those that serve. Today, I had to jump on and do an impromptu video about CRST. I recently came across some information last night. <laughs> about CRST and their lease purchase program for truck drivers. Now, of course, me being a former lease purchase driver, a former owner operator, and failing at both of them, I am definitely, definitely cautious whenever it comes to these lease purchase programs. I'm definitely not the one to recommend you to lease a truck, but CRST, it's definitely interesting. CRST, hands down, probably is the worst trucking company out there for you to be a company driver. The way that they treat you, all of that, the way that they train drivers, the way that they require trainers to not have any experience, basically. I just can't recommend them as a company driver. However, this lease purchase program has one key feature that makes them top notch in my opinion when it comes to lease purchase on a truck they give you the option as a solo lease driver with them to have access to the load board so that you can pick your own freight it just feels absolutely terrible and it makes you feel like a company driver when you're making payments on the truck, you're paying the insurance on the truck, you're paying for the fuel on the truck, you have to pay for your scale tickets, you have to pay for everything in regards to that truck. You got to pay to get it fixed and you cannot dispatch yourself and pick your own loads and basically be an independent, which is the main reason why most of us want to lease a truck or to own a truck. Getting into a program that allows you to do that it's just critical. I think it keeps your morale high. It keeps you truly independent. You really do control when you go out, when you come home, what loads you're going to take for how much. Uh, it's just truly an independent. I'll hit a couple of key highlight features for this CRST program. Uh, of course, it's a load board available for solos. Zero money down. No credit check. We all know how some of those programs could be. Um, so, as I stated, 2021-2022 uh, Freightliner Cascadia's uh, bumper to bumper maintenance program. You can earn 70% of the revenue plus fuel surcharge, uh, which averages around $2.02 .02 per mile. Uh, they do have a sign on bonus and they do allow a pet, one dog or cat, 40 pounds or less. Uh, they do have a rider policy for solos, uh, have to be 10 years of age or older, and it has to be an immediate family member, spouse, child, parent, or sibling. Home time is flexible because you choose the loads if you want. Uh, experience, you need about 6 to 12 months of experience, and uh, it says qualified applicants with arrest and conviction records will be considered for employment pursuant to applicable applicable federal state and local laws the key highlights in my opinion in this program is the 2021s 2022s freightliner cascadias uh the zero money down with no credit check as well as the load board uh now these no money down uh lease purchase programs a lot of them are scams a lot of them are built to uh, basically make that company money instead of you so I went to check out some reviews from some current lease purchase drivers with CRST. And of course, there's mixed reviews, but I was shocked to see the amount of good reviews from some guys who are already leasing with them. And so, I mean, it's something worth looking into if you're considering leasing a truck. Uh, I don't personally recommend lease purchase programs. But I know some of you guys out there, you get hot in your pants about wanting to get a truck and you're not going to listen to somebody telling you not to do it because you think you know it and you think you're going to be the rare exception to actually succeed in it. 
a lot of people do make it. A lot of people do succeed in lease purchase programs, but there's a lot of people uh, that have their lives and financial futures destroyed with these lease purchase programs. I just think it's interesting. I didn't know that CRST gave you access to a load board and I didn't know that they had that newer trucks that you could lease, but I would be definitely, definitely, definitely uh, more inept to call and ask questions if you're considering a lease purchase program to check to see how much their payments are, uh, the terms of their maintenance programs, and all of that before you actually signed on with them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're a current CRST lease driver, let me know in the comments how it's going for you or anybody. Uh, if you know anybody that are doing the program, you let me know too in the comment section. Uh, I love y'all. Like this video, comment. I'll see you on the next one.